Right, so it's been a while since I've done anything of this video, mainly because, well, two reasons. One, I haven't had any money to do any DIY, uh, to buy stuff that I need. And secondly, I've been making a lot of film reviews lately and scheduling them to upload in the future, which may be in the past by the time video goes up. I don't know. Anyway, I've gone into the attic uh, to have a look up there and see what's going on. So let's go up and have a look. So the first thing I notice is that insulation is a really really poor job as you can see uh, down here it's it's just not very good this is directly above my bedroom which might explain why it gets so cold because the insulation is just I don't know what's happening with the insulation it's just been thrown up here uh, see on the other side this is above the kitchen it doesn't look too bad on this side there are lights up here but the wires have been cut to the light so I need to fix the wires up. See in some places there's just no insulation at all. So these vents have basically been cut in the roof and there's three of them. There's one here, there's another two further down. But all sorts of bugs are coming in here and I've been wondering where the, sp uh, the wasps are coming from. Um, here is a dead wasp here. No idea how long that's been there. I actually got stung um, a few weeks after moving in here in the foot. I trod on a wasp, I didn't see it. It's bloody painful. Um, so what I'm going to do with them, I'm not going to seal them up to make them airtight, but I'm going to put a membrane over them so the air can breathe through, but the bugs can't get through. So I bought some stuff. Um, I'm going to stick that over. I'm going to do this one, because this one is right by the hatch. So this is, this is the hatch here. So this is my, my shower room down here. Um, the other two, I will do... At, um, when I can get to them, basically. I can't get to them right now because they're on the uh, three. I'm going to put some soundproof insulation down as well uh, when I can get it off Amazon. I found some stuff that I like. It's got good reviews. It seems to do the job. Because there are two main sound sources where I live. There's a guy who has a generator down the road because he's not on the mains electric, so he has his generator going all night. And then there's ships out in the water and I can hear their engines going. And it's just it's torture because it's... I can feel it in my head more than I can hear it, and it's, so I need to do something about it. And this is definitely one of the places the sound is getting in. Okay, right, I'm back down um, out of the attic. This is what I'm going to use. I got it from the garden centre. It's meant for like gardens, um, so you can do. Um, you put that over the soil and stuff like that. But air goes through, so the attic can still, you know, ventilate, but bugs won't be able to get through. So I'm going to use that, a bit of Gorilla, and uh, yeah, should be uh, good, but I can't get to the other two yet, because one's all the way over there, and one's all the way over there, so I'm going to put this one in, because it's right by the hatch, and then, um, yeah, I won't have all the heat escaping through my ceiling. That's patched up, that went quite well actually. You can see where the glue's um, come through, so you can see where I've glued it up. No bugs and wasps are going to come through there. Now I just need to uh, do the other two, which I don't know I'm going to get to them, because I, so I can't actually get to them yet. Alright, I am now wearing some overalls. Um, these are actually part of my dad's work uniform from probably, I was just thinking about it, when he was about my age. Um, but they always uh, gave him far too much of everything. So this is actually... Apart from having a few bits of dirt on it from recent use, it's actually like brand new. And this must be, uh, I don't know, 20, 25 years old? Maybe a bit more? Anyway, one thing I am sure of, my dad had a thinner belly when he was my age. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to go up. Got my mask here. Uh, so I don't breathe in all the uh, fiberglass dust. I'm not going to film while I'm up there because uh, there's not a lot of room to work, as you saw from uh, a little moment ago. And it's dark, and I don't want to be fussing about with the camera while trying to lay fiberglass down and everything. So yeah, I'm going to um, basically leave the camera here, and I'll stick go back up there with the camera once I've finished. All right. Ah. Uh. Um, I have to get out of there. Very confined space. There's a gap between the sleeve and my gloves. 
fiberglass is getting on that, so my wrists are getting a bit itchy. So I need to um, fix that, and also I might do something with my uh, ankles. I did find some junk up there. Found an empty box um, and uh, a bag with empty stuff in it. It's it's what is it? It's a mystery. It's like Christmas, except for I know what's inside is going to be shit. More empty boxes. The thing is, all this stuff, I mean, looks like somebody at some point was buying expensive stuff like. Uh, crystal butterfly. Uh, empty. But this wasn't just like, you know, easily found. This was being buried underneath the insulation. It's like, I found a box ye uh, yesterday when I was up there. Same sort of thing. Uh, clearly, somebody at some point. I know there was a young couple living here before. So, and my glass again empty. Uh, crystal empty. All these things. Don't, it's all. It's all the same sort of stuff. But yeah, it looked like someone had actually deliberately buried it. The, the insulation was deliberately over it to hide it. So someone had hidden it once I put it in the loft. And they had hidden it again by burying it under a pile of insulation. Weird. <coughs> but it's, it's just rubbish. This is all going to the bin. I'm going to go down to the shops because I want to drink. Uh, Alright, I have just spent hours, well it feels like hours, I don't actually know how long I've been up there, a long time, but I have just spent a very long time, feels like hours, but I don't think it has been that long, sorting out insulation above my bedroom. Uh, I am absolutely covered in fibreglass, as you can see. Uh, I've had enough for tonight, because it's getting late now. And I'm going to seal up the attic. Oh, I've got a big hole in my glove. I didn't even know. Um, oh, look. And then the thumb. And, and these ones. Oh, my God. Everything's falling apart. Uh, yeah, so... Actually, I taped the gloves. I've got tape and elastic bands. It actually worked really well. I was up there for ages. And I've got used to breathing through this thing now. But I've got to come out of there now. I've been up there for too long. I've come as far as the edge of my bedroom so that's enough for today so I'm not sure exactly how much time has passed since uh, you saw me doing my loft insulation um, basically since then um, I've got a little bit of fiberglass in my eye my eye basically looked like it was going to explode it was horrible um, went to the opticians uh, it's all sorted out now eyes all good um, I just want to show you um, my tap uh, I know it's a bit of a random jump from um, attic space to kitchen, but that's the way I do things. So as you can see, these are my kitchen taps. I hate them. They're way too low. And um, this is my cold. This is the hot. So if I want heat, it's like right in the corner. So I bought myself a mixer tap, which is here. And uh, obviously that needs to be installed. I'm going to be installing that tomorrow. Um, I've never actually done a tap before, so my dad's going to talk me through it. He's not going to do it for me, but he's going to talk me through how to do it, and then I will know how to do it. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, but I probably won't film that, but I just wanted to show you a before and after. Um, so, yeah. So here is the uh, tap installed. Got cold, hot, mixing, all good move side to side so I don't have the uh, hot just stuck in the corner anymore so that is a lot better and I'm a lot happier with that now so this is my second attempt at filming this I'm now climbing up into my loft space to show you um, how it's all nice and neat now so as you can see um, everything's sort of now laid flat that over there that's where the uh, Velux window is in my bedroom but all the insulation is now filling up all the gaps. So it is much 
better now than it was. It took me ages to do that. I did film this yesterday, but it didn't record for some reason. I don't know why. So this is the uh, hatch for the attic. I painted it white yesterday. And what I'm going to do now is put this insulation on it. Because uh, it's nice and um, good insulation. Got loads of it uh, lying around because they've been doing renovation work in the main house. So I'm going to glue that on so that bit will be insulated. Uh, also, I've been doing some stuff here. I saw online um, some breeze blocks flower um, gardens and they look really nice. But I'm just using what I can find and it's, I don't know, it might work out alright once I fill out with soil. Got my bird feeder here, got camera here. This is my new camera, which uh, you would have seen on the unboxing video. But I've discovered the audio isn't very good so I've got my old camera. Um, because the audio is far superior on that one. So, anyway, I'm um, doing some work around here. Um, this is just all crap down here, so I'm just peeling all that back. They've got plastic here. So I'm lifting up the plastic, and uh, what I'm going to do is turf it. And then that is a composter. It's empty at the moment. I'm going to put that here. That thing there used to be there. That's just full of weeds. Uh, so yeah, that's all going to be on the next video. Yeah, my camera keeps stopping recording glitching recently. I don't know if it's the camera or the memory card or the battery or whatever. But it's beginning to uh, become a bit of a nuisance. And I've got a shadow on everything. I don't think you can see it in this light. Uh, there's a bit of dust on the inside of the lens. So I might have to send this camera away for a bit of maintenance soon. Which I don't really want to do because it's expensive to do that. But anyway... I will see you in the next video. I don't know when my next DIY video will be, but I've got other videos. I always have other videos, even if my upload schedule is a bit hit and miss. And I'll see you soon. All right, bye.